Hey you guys, Linwood here, and today I am going to show you how to do the bloom knot. So stay tuned and thumbs up if you like it, and if you have not seen my last video, you can do so by clicking the I in the top right corner here, or you can click this photo here. As you can see, it is not a tie tutorial. You should totally check it out, and be sure to share it if you like it. Um, now before we get into this tutorial, there are a few things that you should know. When I'm doing the tying portion of this tutorial, the image will be flipped, so everything is mirrored for you. You can follow along on the same side that you see it on. So when I say right, it will be on your right side and vice versa. The second thing that you should know is when I begin tying this knot, for one thing, when it's finished, it sits at my belt line. And when I begin tying, the tip of my blade will still be at my belt line. So I'm not really doing much adjusting afterward. Uh, if uh, you are having issues with that, you may be taller, you may have a larger neck than I am. So I'm five foot seven. I have a 15 inch neck. And if you are somehow larger, you may actually need a longer tie to do these more intricate tie knots. And if you do, be sure to check the description box for links. I'll put an awesome website down there. I don't earn any money from them in any capacity, but they make some beautiful ties and they also make them in custom links. Uh, and I just think that they're fantastic. It's the CorbinCollection.com. If you've been an avid watcher, you've seen them before. Uh, the third thing that you should know is this content I am not charging for. I don't charge you anything for it. It's completely free. So one of the best ways that you can show me that you appreciate it and that you like my content is to actually click the like button, to share it with a friend by clicking the share button down below, or to go ahead and leave a comment in the comment box. What it does, it makes me more discoverable on YouTube and it helps my channel's growth so that way I can be able to uh, earn through YouTube by having other opportunities open up for me. I can be able to earn through YouTube through AdSense with the ads that you see on there. And it helps me to offset the cost of some of the things like this lovely new camera that I'm filming on so you can have better quality. So if you like my content, please help me out by sharing it, by liking it, or by always leaving a comment section in the comment section down below. I greatly appreciate it more than you know, and it will help me to better produce better content for you each and every time. So thank you guys so much. We're just gonna jump right into this tutorial in three, two, and one. Let's get it. All right, you guys, so I have my blade, which is a large end on my right side, and I have my tail on the left side. Now, for those of you who are wondering, the tie is actually made by Stephen Land. It's a very old tie, though, so you probably won't be able to find this exact one. And my shirt is actually made by Express. I get a lot of questions like that. Um, so I'm actually going to start off with the tip of my blade sitting right at my belt line as I showed you before. I'm going to pinch off creating my power crease and pull it to the center. From here, I'm just crossing the tail over the blade like so, wrapping up and through the middle just like this. And then I'm going to fold this tail in half and I'm going to bring it directly back to the left side over here. From there, I'll reach underneath my blade. I'm gonna pull that tail all the way under. And then we're going to, let me slide all the way down to the end. I prefer to slide through the ends with the tail at the very tip already folded. It just helps me out. So I'm gonna slide under this loop and just feed through there, tuck down. So basically what that does is it makes where I can make a fluid motion there and I can still easily manage what's going on. So from here, I can just go ahead and ensure that it's still folded. And as I pull, it just goes right into place like so. Okay, so as you guys will see, this is essentially going to be like a Trinity knot. So now that it's passed around and through there, I'm actually going to keep it folded, so like all the way down to the end and place the tip just underneath this loop on the right side. We're gonna go ahead and do that and I'm just gonna feed it up this time. Keeping it folded down here, just gonna slowly pull right on through here. Just like that. Okay, which by the way, if you like these tie knots, please don't forget to subscribe and uh, that way you'll be able to be updated anytime I post new content. All right, now from here, I'm actually just going to snug everything up just a little bit. I don't wanna get it super tight, but I do want to make sure I have enough room left as I'm finishing. So from here, I'm going to actually bring this to the opposite side here. We're coming back to the left. 
and I'm going to essentially repeat the same steps. So I'm coming underneath the blade, wrapping around through the back, folding, and we're going to insert right on underneath that top loop. Push that baby down, and we'll just snug it up a little bit, just like so. All right, now I've got the tail of this and you can see there's not much left. And this is why I was telling you earlier, if you're a taller gentleman, you might want to start investing in longer ties if you plan on doing intricate knots on a regular basis because it's going to make a huge difference in how your knots turn out. And uh, the Corbin Collection is not just do the bland, ugly ties that you see on a lot of the long tie websites. So I'm actually going to go ahead and feed through here and we're going to come up under this loop like so. We're just gonna tighten up just a little bit. I don't want it to be too, too snug. Now, a lot of people would just wanna leave this loose and it's kinda of tacky, it will come loose on you if you do. So, see this loop right here? This is a great place, let me just kinda of pull it out just a little bit. It's a great place to take the tail in and tuck it up through. What it's going to do is add an extra bit of security. I'm gonna tuck up through there and pull it up this way. And it helps to ensure that these babies uh, on the outside are not sliding in and kind of covering the inner uh, trinity type shape of this bloom knot. So from here, I'm just gonna pull my collar right on down. Make sure we're positioned in the middle. And yes, we are. So of course, as always, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching and let me know what other type of content you may like to see down there also. Uh, question of the day, what is your favorite tie knot and is, what is your least favorite tie knot? Because I know I've come out with some, some doozies and still have some others. So I'm interested to know your comments in the comment section below because I love to interact with you guys. Of course, until next time you guys, take care and God bless. You're fancy now. Bye-bye. I had to like specially make that bed just so that way it would not look a hot mess back there. And as you guys can see, I suck at making beds. Like I do not make beds. I was raised in a military family. It is my way of rebellion. So you're welcome for not having a super sloppy background. That's because I love you guys. Bye.